What's up everyone? I'm doing a browser review. Um, the internet browser, which one's best, which one's, you know, uh, what capabilities and what cool things that these, each one has, the pros, cons, why I chose, the, you know, why I chose it. Um, coming in last is Internet Explorer, be just because, um, I'll click it. It has a pretty slow startup speed. Um, the cold startup speed, as I like to say, it's the first initial, you know, when you turn your computer on or you finally open it or something. It has a slow open speed and stuff, and it's still loading as you can see here. And what I don't like about it is it has all this crap. You have toolbars that get installed just going through installations and stuff, and you just have thousands of toolbars and stuff. And I hate it. So you've got like six inches of clearance here on your screen. Half your screen is devoted just to bars on your thing. I don't like that at all. I do like this. If it had just this little part, which you can do, you can minimize all these. You can use this one little space. That's what I used to run it on. When I use Internet Explorer, I used this one little bar. And I had like my, uh, this bar, I think, right underneath it. And that's all I had. And that's two inches. That's perfect for me. But I hate all this crap. And you gotta manually, and this stuff gets installed in the computer and it's just waste space and stuff. And you gotta say, yes, I wanna disable this. And it's just dumb. Um, I did like the tabs. This is the first browser I think that really had tabs. Um, but that's lame news because everyone has, or it's old news, not lame. Because every browser has tabs now. But, anyways, that's why it's fourth of mine. Um, it just has a bunch of crap. It's just not needed. And there's no theme. No, you can't customize it. Um, you can add toolbars and stuff, but I don't think you can do colors and stuff. It has the best like security, like getting rid of your co cookies and stuff. You can just you know manually do that. It's a great browser for that, but overall it's not my favorite. Uh, Lunascape's the newest one I've been working with. The cold start is ridiculously slow. Like the first time you do it, it's ridiculously slow. It takes forever. It takes about two minutes to load it, and then it takes about like a minute for each browser to load those. Um, but the cool thing is, it's like a universal browser. It has Firefox in it, it has uh, Google Chrome, Safari, it has um, Internet Explorer, it has all of them. So if you go to a website and it says you need Safari to view this, which I haven't seen a website yet that said that, but there's a lot that say Internet Explorer, you need Internet Explorer to use this. So if you see that, you can switch from the Gecko is, um, see FF, that's Firefox, Gecko is Firefox, and Trident's Internet Explorer, and WebKits is the um, Chrome and Safari. So if I need to go to Internet Explorer, I just click Internet Explorer, and what it does is it just switches over to Internet Explorer, and it didn't it didn't take too long. Um, the first time you switch them and stuff, the cold start, as I say, um, it does take a little longer, and switching back and forth, switching Internet Explorer and WebKit, or, or yeah, I think WebKit is the slowest or the fastest, and then Gecko is the slowest because Mozilla is a, a hog of performance but it's the best because you can customize everything about it so and it has RSS feeds if you like a, a certain newspaper you can get the RSS feed and put it up here mine's Air Force because I'm in the Air Force Air Force Times uh, tells me you know the local news or most recent news you can customize this and change the appearance of Lunescape this little bar um, it's pretty neat about that too um, oh, I didn't show you WebKit so let me show you WebKit WebKit is Safari and the uh, Google Chrome. As you can see, it's probably the fastest loading. Um, Internet Explorer is pretty fast to it. If not, Internet Explorer is about tied with it. And it brings up that. Well, that's basically it. Um, it has a cool search bar. It has a search engine here. And you can search engine uh, the Amazon search and eBay. That's pretty cool. And you can keep all your information like uh, here. Um, the applications for Mozilla, all that transfers over, and you have to. It switches. It has to switch to use those applications um, for your apps on uh, Mozilla. Yes, yeah, so you go back to Mozilla. That's what I don't like about it. It's a little slow. Um, my favorite, or well, second favorite, Firefox is pretty good. Um, this is my initial browser. I use this forever. I had it for like an hour or a whole year and a half. I had it on my flash drive. I love this so much. I'd go to school, plug it out of my computer, 
and I'd use them, the mobile edition of Mozilla, and I loved it. Because our school, one thing it used them was Internet Explorer, and I loved my Mozilla. Every everything about this is customizable. The toolbars, every bit of this you can customize, and it has a sleek appearance. It's nice. I like this because it kind of organizes everything. It's a little bookmark bar and stuff. It's really neat, and you can add any application, to any you can do NFL, everything. You can do all that. You can change like NFL thing. You'll make this like a football, and this a field goal or something like that. It, it's just cool. I like Mozilla. It just takes the niche. It takes about 20 seconds. It has the um, the best average load ups from cold to warm, as I say. Um, startups, you know, it'll be the same every time. It's very, very consistent and very stable. It doesn't it doesn't crash as much. Um, this crashes. Um, it's right underneath the Internet Explorer, but it's uh, above Lunascape. Um, it crashes not as often as a lot of browsers, but it's pretty pretty reliable. So, and they patch everything, so it's just continually getting better and better. But anyways, if you want a customizable browser, this is the one for you, and um, pr pretty good performance. Um, I would say about average to a little bit better uh, performance as far as startup and you know doing everything. My favorite as far as performance, I'm a performance freak. Um, cars, I want to go fast. I want to do everything fast. I want to multitask, and um, that's what I like about Chrome. Chrome takes like two seconds. There it is. It's already loaded. It's extremely fast. It's slim. You you know, I cut out all the crap and all that stuff, and it's just a slim, good little bar. Brings up your most favorite uh, cool feature. It's got a back. Uh, you can change the themes, backgrounds. Um, did have a lot of themes. This is the best one out of all of them. Not a big Forest fan, but it's pretty cool. And it ties in with Google. You can just start typing it. Nikon 3100. And it Googles it. Saves you a little time of cooking it, uh, typing in Google. Um, it's just neat because you can just start Googling stuff. And you'd be like, a lot of times I'd find myself whenever I was on Mozilla and stuff, I'd start typing in stuff. And I wouldn't be using Google. And I'd be like, oh crap, I need to go to Google. And what this is, you can start typing this in, so just push it in here. And then YouTube. As soon as you start typing YouTube, you can push tab and you can search YouTube. And you just start typing an icon, 3100, and it'll search YouTube. <coughs> like a shortcut, pretty much. Overall, it's fast, it's extremely fast. Um, it's my fa it's a, one of the fastest browsers. It's really reliable. I've only had it crash on me like maybe three times. Um, when I was working, and most of the time is because I had like a hundred tabs open, and it's just insanely fast. I love it. And it's my top pick because it's the performance wise. Performance is a big aspect of my thing. I haven't found anything that Chrome can't do that Mozilla can, other than apps. And I'm pretty sure you can do apps now on Chrome. If not, like uh, you can get them. You know, you can do like uh, add-ins and stuff on it. Once again, I'm gonna show you. It's so fast, and that's cold. That's even cold startup. It's so fast. I like it. I hate waiting for something like a program or something. I like it if it's prompt, and this one did it. So, quick overlook. Uh, quick overlook for the people that skim through the video. Internet Explorer comes in last because of the crappy tabs everywhere. Um, once you get rid of everything, it's a pretty good browser. Um, they're all great browsers, but Internet Explorer comes fourth because it's not really customizable. And then um, next would be Lunascape. Lunascape has great features. It's just really slow in the cold um, startup. I wish they had it where it just, you know, propped up just like Chrome and it switched pages just like Chrome. That'd be amazing. And I would use Lunascape over Chrome. Um, Mozilla is really cool because you can customizable and it has the best average consistency as far as startups. And it's pretty, pretty reliable. Chrome is the best because it's fastest, it's most reliable, um, it's a great little tool. It brings, incorporates everything in Google, it's awesome. That's why I like Chrome. So there you have it. Um, if you got any questions, comments, um, if there's something I missed in my review that you guys have seen or something, be feel to comment on it. And I can see you guys later.